trust in you with all of my heart. Yeah, with all of my heart. Yes, I will. And I won't leave to my own understanding in all of my ways. I'll acknowledge you, cause I. second and just let you know that situation is too big for you yeah yeah you can't handle that you know what you need to do you need to turn it over to the Lord right now You need to find you a secret place. Turn it into an altar. Get down on your knees. Lift your hands. Open your mouth. Throw your head back. And just begin to call the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus. Call him Lord, so Lord, 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 Lord.
just see some hands of some people who know that your faith has gone to work. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Anybody in here believe that that thing that was worrying you is not going to worry you anymore? You believe Isaiah 26 and 3 that he'll keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind staying on him. Well, guess what we're going to do? We're going to call him again. And this time, we're going to call him out of gratitude. We're going to call him in an effort to say, Lord, I thank you for what you've done for me. Come on, lift your hands, open your mouth, and just say, Lord, I thank you for what you've done for me. your neighbor and said neighbor say in my life I've been up and I've been down but say in spite of my circumstance in spite of my situations look at him real good and say in spite of what I'm going through right now say when I look back over my life and you see how far God brought me back can't do nothing but thank the Lord. Somebody ought to get up. Pray to Him. Call His name. Say it out. Pray to Him. Pray to Him. That's it. That's it. That's it. King, worthy is the Lamb, you are the Holy One, Holy One, hey, righteous, righteous King, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, you are the, you are the Holy One, 
Lift your hands if you know that's him. I am you are the holy one. Oh, it's time to praise now. Time to praise. Get your fruit. Give me the praise. What you are to me, Jesus. You are the Holy One. Thank you, Jesus. So divine and so pure.
Just take a minute and explain to him what you're really trying to say. What you're really trying to say. So say some people, some people say I'm crazy, but I can't explain. I can't explain. The power, the power that I feel when you call his name. When I call your name. That fire, that fire. Said it's just like fire. Where's it at? Where's it at? Shut up in my mood. Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost gets to moving. Said it won't leave me alone. Clean up with us, y'all. Clean up with us, y'all. Everybody. Something about the ladies. Something about the ladies. Something about the ladies. It's the sweetest name, yeah. Even me if you love that name. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It's the sweetest name, yeah. How sweet is it? How sweet is it? I want you to tell Detroit for a minute. How sweet is it? Sweeter than honey. Said it's sweeter than honey. From the honeycomb. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the Holy Ghost gets to moving, this won't leave you alone. <laughs> Said he won't leave me alone. Oh no. Now tell every Muslim if it's you. At the name of At Jesus. At the name of Jesus. What's going to happen from me? Every knee has got to bow. So tell them to wait. You don't have to wait till the fire comes. What can they do? You can clap your hands. Right now. Praise right now. Right now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Something about the name Jesus. Something about that name. Something about the name Jesus. It's the sweetest name. It is the sweetest name. Sweetest name I know. Everybody lift your hands and worship with us. And Come on. with our three-year-old. Had to take him to emergency room because he had walking pneumonia. And see, you know, you take health for granted until it's your health. Just like we take food for granted until we run out of food. Up. Just like we take our spouses for granted until we're walking by the casket and all we can do is wish that we could do things different. Just like children take their parents for granted. But I want to let you know, even when we take God for granted, 
what's so amazing about God is Paul says he does not treat us as our sins deserve so that means that even in my imperfections God is still perfect with his grace and his mercy that's why I don't want people getting comfortable with praising the Lord just when the Lord gives them something see you gotta learn how to praise him because of who he is because see when you praise him for who he is you don't have to wait till the trouble comes to learn how to praise him I want every blood washed believer that has fallen in love with Jesus I'm not talking about you've had an affair with Jesus but I'm talking about you love him you love him you love him not because of what he's done but because of who he is yes sir everybody we're gonna sing this chorus together and even if you can't sing even if you don't know the words you can give God an oath and that oath can mean to you whatever that oath needs to mean to you can we sing it right there can we sing that chorus right there everybody every man every woman open up your spirit and sing it Guess what the Lord wants 
to hear you say. Bless the Lord. Bless him because he has. You know what he's done for you and me, huh? He's heard your voice. Heard my voice. Oh, every time we cry. Lord. Anybody feel all right? Throw that head back and scream as loud as you can if you feel all right. Wait a minute. I want to tell you about the one time that the Lord heard me and the brothers prayer. We were on our way to Los Angeles, California to be in a movie called Watch Stacks. And when we got to the airport, the plane had already left. Because we were a little late, the plane was gone. I asked the man, I said, is there another one leaving today? We got to get to Hollywood, Hollywood. He said, no, won't be another plane leaving until tomorrow. Hallelujah. We started to go home. Mm -hmm. But the Lord said, no. Wait a minute, let me ask you something. Have you ever been in a situation where there was no way, you couldn't see a way, but while you didn't know what God was going to do, you believed that he was going to do something? Break it down, Nick. I got Steve by the hand I got Tom by the hand We went over in a corner Of the airport restaurant And there we began to pray Hey Lord Have your way Break it again. And about uh, about 20 minutes later, I heard that same voice that told me that the plane was gone. I heard that voice come over the intercom. Y'all gotta help me. 
at your neighbor and say, the devil will whisper trouble in your ear. But God will put good news over the intercom. Somebody scream up in this place. Bring it up. Hallelujah. Guess what I heard that man say over the intercom? He said, ladies and gentlemen, the plane that just left for Los Angeles, California is now having to return back to the starting gate. Me and my brother said, I wonder what happened. He come right back home with the speaker. He says, the plane has had to come back because it has problems with its toilets. My brother looked at me and said, man, ain't that a coincidence? I smacked him. I said, no, that ain't no coincidence. That's a miracle. High five somebody and tell them, say, stop giving up your miracles to coincidence. And then my brother looked at me, he said, okay, preacher, what you think happened? I said, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. I believe God dispatched a couple of angels. Told them, say, stop by the tool shed there in heaven and get a couple of sludge hammers. He said, go get on that 747 jet and bust up all the toilets. My boys need a ride. And then the Lord told the angel, say, before you get off the plane, Wave your hands in front of all of the passengers and make sure that they all have to go at the same time. Oh! Won't he do it, somebody? Oh, yeah. I know you will. Oh, my, my, my. Yeah. All you gotta do is lift your hands and say it like this. Come on, brothers. Say it right now. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 